Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create an advanced fog shader. In the previous tutorial I added lights and rendered the environment using Eevee. You can watch the tutorial on creating a realistic render using Eevee here. To create a fog volume first press shift A and then mesh and then select cube. To cover the entire environment I will scale up the cube by pressing the S key. Now I should pull up this window. I'm in shader editor mode and press new to create a material for the cube. Let's rename the object. In the shader window press shift and A and then shader and then select principled volume. Next connect its output pin to the volume input of the material. For the first step let's add a gradient texture node. Press shift and A and search for it. Press Ctrl T to add a texture coordinate node for scaling, rotating and so on. If it's not working you can go to preferences and navigate to the add-ons section. Search for node wrangler and activate it. Connect the color output pin to the density input pin. The fog density is too high because the scene is dark. Press Shift and A to add a color balance node. It's very useful for modifying a gradient texture node. To achieve the ideal result, I only need to adjust the dark and white ranges. That's better. Now I can see a hint of fog. Search for a math node and connect it to the result. And change it to multiply. I want to control the intensity using this node. Just play with the value. Next, change the gradient method to spherical. This setting will create fog with a spherical shape. As I move further away, I notice something black. This is the fog and I can expand its range using a color ramp. Now I should change the color ramp to be spline to achieve a smoother shape. Let's return to the scene. Here I can observe the difference by adjusting the color ramp. And also by changing the multiply node. Finally, I can scale down the gradient a little. This will result in a bigger fog. Alright, let's duplicate all these nodes, excluding the first coordinate node, using Shift D. I forgot to connect the object coordinate to the vector input of the gradient, and then connect it to the second node. Now I am going to add a high fog effect using the second set of nodes. Switch the gradient texture node from spherical to linear. Use Ctrl and right click to disconnect the current connection. Then connect the second node set to preview to result. As you can see a linear fog has appeared. I need to rotate it minus 90 degrees in the Y axis. You can see that the direction has changed. Let's reset the scale value to 1. Now I can modify the color ramp. First change it to ease. If you enjoyed this video up to this point, don't forget to like it. It's not good change the rotation to 90 degrees. It's much better now. Now I can adjust the height by changing the Z scale. I can adjust the height by changing the X position as well. Finally I need to mix these nodes together. Press Shift and A and search for the mix color node. And then connect the results to this node. Here's the result which you can control using the factor input. You can also adjust the intensity of each fog using the multiply node. I need an additional fog layer for the top areas. Let's duplicate a set of nodes. Then connect it to the shader to view the result. First, rotate it minus 90 degrees on the Y axis and reset all the values. Let's change the position slightly to bring the fog down. Now we can control its intensity using the color ramp. 
I forgot to connect the coordinate node to the third fork. Let's duplicate the mix color node to mix the third fog. Press Shift D and connect the first mix result to the B pin. Then connect the third fog to the A pin. This is the result and you can just see balance between fog 2 and fog 3 using the factor. Besides, I can adjust each fog using its multiply node. The last thing I need to add is noise to create a cloudy shape. Press Shift and A and search for the Noise Texture node. Press Ctrl T and add Texture Coordinates, then connect the object space. Hold Ctrl and Shift and click on the node to preview it. You can see the Noise Texture here and it's easy to modify. Let's make some adjustments. Focus on adjusting the noise values to create a smooth-like shape. I need a brightness contrast node to boost the intensity of the white points. I just need to modify the contrast. Finally, I need to add a math node and set it to multiply to control the intensity. Next, I'll combine the fog with the noise using the multiply node to create a smoke-like effect. Connect the noise and fog to it. You can now see a smoke-like shape here. Let's make some final adjustments. No need to add any notes, just a slight adjustment of values is needed, depending on the environment. Ok, this is the final shader. You can add more notes to it and incorporate additional effects. Also, you can mention new methods for creating volume shaders in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or ideas, feel free to share them in the comments.